on me on the phone before. She rang us up um, about stuff what's been getting said about her on YouTube by Humble Dryer. Now, I know John, I've always thought he seems like a good bloke. I don't know the ins and outs of what's been said, but I... Yeah, he's a good bloke till you go on the wrong side of him. And then when you go on the wrong side of him, he trolls you like everybody else. So you don't know him that well then, do you, pal? That's basically telling me that he's said she's had an affair with a cop I called DC Felton in the past, which is obviously, and she should take a lie detector test, which is obviously bang out of order in a load of shite. Now, um, I've stayed out of all that carry on, and I am staying out of all that carry on. Um, still, but like, and I sort of... Making this video, you're not staying out of it, are you? So, that's just my opinion. So, he'll be going after you now, most probably. I said to me, they said that, and I see as how, like, she says, if I could put a YouTube video up saying my thoughts, she'd appreciate it. Um, now, I, I will completely agree, it's bang out of order. She said she would make, uh, take a lie detector test. And anyone who has come up with sick accusations like that about her is going to look terrible when she proves it is a load of shit. Not that she should have to, mate, but for... Yeah, but that fucking idiot humble. The fuck he say, oh yeah, this is what somebody say, it's misinformation, like he always does. You know what he's like. Pussy him. Even making a woman in her position do that but one thing he'll never do, apologise from the art. Never. They're going to look terrible. But like I see is all the who done it stuff and all the rest of it. It's not a bit of YouTube entertainment. It's a serious, serious situation. That's why I'm completely staying out of it. I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's none of my business. And I've, Anna knows that, I've, I've told Anna that, and she completely respects that, right? Um, I, I understand why she might say what she wants to say, but it's all stuff that's happened before my time, and it's none of my business. So I'm not getting in any way involved in that. But it's also obviously none of John's business, and he shouldn't be getting involved in, in it. And he really shouldn't be saying things like what he has said, and I'll... Do you, re do you think he really gives a fuck? Does he fuck? He likes to bring miser misery to other people because he is a miserable old prick. It is bang out of order. So I'll happily say that even though with all due respect I've always found John to be an alright bloke. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know everyone makes yeah. mistakes but that is that is not a good thing to be doing at all. No. Anyway, it's just a quick one today because I said I would do that for Anna eh, because she would appreciate it. Um, and I hope everyone's keeping all right. This is the Cyclops and uh, Pizza Face. And uh, the founder. You know the founder of... This is what I mean about this, Titter. Em and Paul Alice beef was squashed. But now... Motorsports has got a backbone in outside people's houses with 10 people trying to intimidate people. He's got a bit of a backbone, haven't you? Humble, you fucking little tithead. Anyway, look at the state of it. Uh, I also got my kid killing a deadbeat dad in the master class. Of my you know, NC method. Smart, so just turn up guys. You know, just turn up. You say you've got to shout people's misses out and call them names and all the rest of it. And then you get put up Just like you do with women on you know, You fucking intimidate everybody, you little fucking scumbag. Why don't you come after some proper man who are ready for you? But you won't though, will you? Cause you're a fucking pussy. Call proper man out, like me. See where you get, lad. And you, yeah, do you got to turn up or you not got to turn up? You never turn up, Let's pussy. See if you turn up. You're on your road, Cyclops, isn't you? So turn up, mate. Yeah. Turn up, Paul. Turn up, Cyclops. 
Turn up. So you need that, you just need... Call me out on mum. We'll see how you turns up. I got family. You've got YouTube family. Come on, humble. Go out. Pussy. Turn up, eh? You shook it. <laughs> you shook it, eh? You must watch it here yourself, shouting you out. Eh? You're out there bad mouthing him. You've got to put him in the box. He's outside your window and you're shook. <laughs> see you later, Paul. Cyclops. This is what I mean. Have you seen what you go like when people say they're going to come your house? You're straight on the phone to the fucking police, you little pussy. It's what you are to me, mate. A fucking pussy. And uh, call fucking call me out, humble. This is a prime example of a bully, right? So he's went and bullied Daniel Riley. He's went and bullied try bully. No one bullied Daniel Riley. He bullied himself. I'm the one who did videos about him, not fucking Tony or Paul. I did. But you won't call my name out, will you, Mo? Pussy. Bob, we Bobby, Uncle Bobby, oh Bobby, for the honest truth. Look, he just goes and tries to bully everybody, and then when you turn that round on... What the fuck are you doing with all your videos, what you do? You're trolling every fucking humble. You got a backbone now, have you? On him, they get shook the fuck and he blocks you. Look, so that's him blocked me in WhatsApp. He said, this is a guy that's made. Why aren't you playing him? Usually you play him. Why aren't you fucking play him? You spoke to him for a bit there because there's one too many something. Play! Become my house and all the rest of it, right? He told me two weeks ago he, to come to my front door, he was doing a drive by and I stood there for two and a half fucking hours while I'm lying, I sat in the hall and went back out, in and out. One there for 44. You the dickhead who stood there for two and a half hours. Were you that worried? <laughs> Panicking? Hey? Pussy. And this is him tonight. Look, shook to death, said he's come to Scotland. Right, and I've told him just to turn up. You know what I mean? He thinks that he can go and then try and bully one of the boys and all the rest of it. And then he gets told to turn up, he just goes and blocks you. How the fuck he meant to get an address to somebody, right? And a postcode, and he just goes and blocks you because he's full of shit, guys, right? He's a fucking bully, and I've not told he's half the stuff that he's done about women and that. And, and you know, I'm not going to speak out of school, because he'll just go and bully them again. The, the fucking bullying cyclops that he is. So this is the beast of York guy. This is, a, this is the guy that Paul Ellis protects his acro. Just like you, the beast of fucking Scotland or wherever the fuck you are. Pussy. Right, he protects his hack. This is a guy who got 108 years to the deer family. A deer, sorry. 108 years between them. Aye, for serious damned robberies, Tony put it. Didn't you, Cyclops? And he's still not producing his acro, and he's to get two alleged grapes of, of underagers on it. Yeah, that shows you the strength of them. So when you go, when you go Susan, Willie, and Paula Poison and that, when you go and team up with this fucking grapist, because you're going to need him, aren't you? It looks as if he's as much fucking use as a fart in a trance.